Welcome to Crypto West Coast, where we discuss everything crypto from a Canadian perspective. My name's Damien, and today we're going to start by looking at Bitcoin, and I'm going to get a little nostalgic as I go back to when I first started getting into cryptocurrency. Let's take a look at Bitcoin's prices. So on CoinGecko, we see that the total market cap of all cryptocurrencies is over $2.2 trillion. And looking at Bitcoin, its market cap today is $1.1 trillion. And when I got into cryptocurrency, it was $156 billion. So it sure has increased since then. Zooming into Bitcoin, we can see that today, in 24 hours, the price of Bitcoin has increased. It did hit an all-time high, as it states right here on April 14th. Bitcoin hit an all-time high of $63,693. And these are U.S. dollars. Every time I look at cryptocurrencies now, I'm looking U.S. dollars because... On every site I use, everything is quoted in US dollars, and that's just what I do. So why did Bitcoin pump today? Well, some would argue that it was because Coinbase, which is the largest crypto exchange in the United States, is going to release its IPO tomorrow. It's going public. And so a quick, quick Google search brings up several stories about Coinbase's IPO. And right here in the Globe and Mail states that Bitcoin hits record highs day before Coinbase's IPO. But a common saying in trading, if you haven't heard it before, is buy the rumor, sell the news. Buy the rumor, sell the news is a market adage based on the belief that stock prices move in anticipation of rumors and rebound when profit taking occurs after the actual news is released. It's a risky task tactic of stock trading based on just rumors or moving events. So the news of the IPO releasing on April 14th is probably what may have pushed the Bitcoin price up today, and we'll see if it pulls back tomorrow. Another quick Google search of just Coinbase evaluation, we find articles such as this Market Watch article that says, should you buy Coinbase? The valuation is ridiculous based on the math. So not everybody's buying what people are selling regarding the Coinbase value and its IPO release. So did Bitcoin pump with this anticipated IPO release? Or is it doing what it's supposed to be doing? If you watched my previous video, I shared this graph, and this is simply the graph of Bitcoin based on the halving events. And if you don't know what Bitcoin halving events are, you can research that. But uh, every time Bitcoin halves, and here's a halving in 2013, the months later, Bitcoin hits an all-time high, and then there's a pullback. And here's the second halving event in 2016, and Bitcoin proceeded to an all-time high followed by a pullback. And so we had a third halving event in May, 2020. And is Bitcoin just following the course onto its next all-time high? And of course there will be days of pumps and dumps as it does what it's supposed to do. So we will see if tomorrow's ICO caused the pump and it'll pull back or if Bitcoin will continue to reach new all-time highs after that. Speaking of Bitcoin, this morning I got an alert on my phone telling me that I sold some Bitcoin. Apparently I had set a sell order and forgot about it and it sold today. Good news is it sold at Bitcoin's all time high this morning. Bad news, it went higher for the day so I could have sold higher. Now, I took some advice from people who I've been listening to and they sell, say as Bitcoin and other assets are going up in value during this bull market, you need to set levels where you will sell stairs at different levels you sell at this point and if it hits the next point if it doubles or whatever you sell at this point and that's what i've done so now i have some gains i do have to record these gains uh, as capital gains in my taxes uh, but now i also have some money sitting in my account i will likely take some of this money and purchase usdt or usdc coins on binance and send it to my celsius network account where i will earn yield I've done a video about this and I will link it right here. And then I will also likely invest in some other coins that I've been researching. I won't share with you what they are right now because again, I don't think I'm in a position to give you any advice. But through my research, I have my eye on some coins that I will likely invest in. Now, I don't know where Bitcoin is headed. I've done my research, I listened to many people and the feeling is that the top of Bitcoin will come somewhere between 70,000 and the sky's the limit, $500,000.
One YouTuber I listen to and I have respect for is the Blockchain Backer, which I will add a link down below. And he does a lot of technical analysis on Bitcoin and XRP. Now he believes that the top is between 70 and $80,000 US. So he actually sold most of his Bitcoin so that he could buy into other coins that he believed he would get a better return in this bull market. Others feel that Bitcoin is the sky's the limit and expect it to hit anywhere 100,000, 200,000, 300,000. Someone I listen to, Dan at Digital Asset News, says conservatively he's looking at 120 to 150,000 dollars and I'm going to go with that. So selling some Bitcoin this morning, even though I forgot about it and I probably wouldn't have sold it if I was thinking about it, I have taken some profits, I have some gains, and now I'm in the position where I can at least earn some more yield or invest in some other coins that I think will increase in value along this bull run. As I said in the introduction, I'm going to get a little nostalgic. Just so you know, this is not my full-time job. I am an educator. I teach physical education to elementary school children. So if I make a video one day, it probably takes me a whole nother day to edit it and upload it. And since I'm sharing, the first coin I ever bought was XRP. It was brought to my attention by one of my basketball coaches and I heard an advertisement for BitBuy on the radio so I started to hear about it I heard the commercial I said let's do it so I bought my first coins they were XRP and I bought them at 34 cents Canadian today XRP hit its highest in three years of two dollars and 22 cents Canadian so so far a pretty good investment I haven't sold I believe it's going to go higher I will sell at a certain point and get my initial investment out and the rest, as they say, I'll let it ride and it's all gravy from there. I don't know where you are on your cryptocurrency journey. I don't know if you're at the very beginning and you fell upon this video as you do research. I don't know if you're well ahead of me and you fell upon this video or if you maybe have bought a little bit of digital assets, maybe Bitcoin, and you're trying to get more information. What I can tell you from what I've learned from others is we are on a, a bitcoin bull run we don't know where it's going to end but past history states that bitcoin will hit an all-time high and there will be a pullback so just like the past years most people agree that we are somewhere on this journey up to its all-time high at some point it will peak and what happens when it peaks is what i've learned is that Bitcoin will be sold off. People will take profits, but they will take their profits and they will put them into altcoins. Now, altcoins are any other coin besides Bitcoin. If you didn't know that, now you know. So people will invest their profits into other coins. So these other coins will then take off and there will be profits made there. But at some point, people will take their new profits on these altcoins and everything will drop. And that's why we see these curves on previous charts. So don't get sucked into the excitement of a big bull run. Things will pull back. And if you haven't actually started investing much, maybe keep an eye on this because I believe based on what I've learned that we will settle down, prices will come down and that might be a good time to start investing in the new cycle, which likely will take place after this one. Moving forward, I wanted to share something with you that I learned today. Out of the 15 months that I've been tracking cryptocurrencies, I haven't really understood how to do charting. I know what a bull flag is or an ascending wedge or descending wedge, but I didn't really know much about how to draw them. Today on Crypto Banter, which I will share the link down below, Sheldon the Sniper did a Charting 101 Masterclass, which I found fascinating and I learned some basic tips on how to do charting. He used the platform TradingView, which is free to use. However, there are upgrades if you want more features. But with it, I learned some basic ways to track the coins I'm watching. So if you're like me and really didn't know how to track coins, I suggest you give this video a view. You download TradingView and you give it a shot. So just my thoughts today. I got a little nostalgic with you, shared a little bit about myself. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And I hope to see you in the next one.